Number three. Speaking of home remaining the safe zone, until such time as it, that dating becomes something a little more like, hmm, I spent a few dates with you now and I'm starting to feel like maybe, you know, there might be something going on here. Do not get to that point quickly. I'm going to say that again. Do not jump to that point quickly. Not every date has to be anything other than just a date even if it's the third date with the same person. Not every date has to be anything more than just a fun date. Now, I said in the beginning that dating is like interviewing, right? You got to interview for the job of being in my life. Okay, I'm interviewing for the job of being in your life. That's why I'm out here. But not every date is going to be a great interview. Some dates are just fun. Some dates you just say yes to because you you found this person physically attractive. They found you physically attractive. Y'all decide to go see a movie together. That's it. After having seen the movie together and a little bit of conversation, you realize, yeah, they smell weird. I don't like that. And you keep it moving. Not every date is husband or wife material. Not every date should be looked at as, okay, I have my checklist of things. I have a checklist, y'all. Don't worry. I'll talk about that in a minute. I have a checklist of things that I definitely want to have in my future partner. And so every single day, I'm going to whip out this checklist and I'm going to start looking to see, do you have them? Okay, maybe, maybe. But let me back up, let let me paint a different perspective. Date one, I'm just having fun. Date two, I really want to know about you. Date three, let's see, okay? Date one, I'm just out here having fun. Date two, I'm really wanting to know more about you. Date three, let's see. At date three, let's see, then I might get out my checklist and see, okay, There have been no glaring red flags up to this point. So let me see what this person has going on in my list of things that I would like to see in someone who might be around for a while. That is my formula. It does not have to be yours. But what I want to stress to you is that you need to have a way of just saying, this is just a thing. There's nothing else happening here but this thing right in front of me. Take the pressure off every date to be anything other than just a date. Because again, we are women who've reached a certain place in life and we have lived through generations where the whole point of dating was to get married, have babies, be together, blah, 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 blah. We're not there anymore. If for for whatever reason you find yourself dating in your Gen X years, you have the luxury of having lived with yourself and to be comfortable with yourself and to like yourself enough to say, you know what, if this date doesn't go anywhere, it's okay. Because I I'm got to spend time with